guys. And I've now stung him. I had no idea where he was going. <laughs> Donny Osmond's voice is like mm. velvet. <coughs> Living with the land. Choked on my Disney Resort mug. Hi guys. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be doing a little Q&A. So what we did was we put out for people on Instagram to ask us some questions and we got a few replies back. Uh, we're still getting a few through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the first load that we got and then we can scroll through some of the stuff that's coming through on Instagram. So hopefully that sounds good. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about at the end of this, um, although no one's asked it yet as far as I know, um, we get asked a lot in our personal lives as I'm sure most of you Disney people do. Um, we get asked so much like why do you keep going back? Like what is it that makes you love it so much? So we always like hearing other people's reasons for loving Disney and why they always go back so we thought we would share ours today as well. So the first question was asked by Disney Tom on Instagram who's super lovely definitely go check him out and he asked us what our favorite parks are so do you want to go first that's an easy one for me my favorite park is Epcot because it's I think we all know it's more for the adults um, you know I, don't, I, I, I thought it'd be easy to explain why it's more for adults but obviously I think the theming I think it's getting better for kids. Yeah, oh, there's so much coming for kids. I remember as a kid not enjoying Epcot all that much, but that might have just been me. I mean, some kids will probably love it. Like. Yeah, yeah. But well, I, <laughs> I think I like it um, mainly because of the food and drink that you can get all around there. So, and it's it's just, I love it. I can't. I, can't, I literally can never explain why I love it so much. It is. It is. It's my favourite. Yeah. Simple as. Just is. <laughs> it just is, yeah. I love it. Yeah, no, I think um, my favourite park is the Magic Kingdom. I think for me, part of it is, it is just my favourite. Like, I love the colours. I love the kind of atmosphere in Magic Kingdom. I think Walt Disney World has an atmosphere that's totally different from anywhere else in itself. But Magic Kingdom it alone has this crazy atmosphere where nothing feels real or it feels like this better version of real life um <laughs> a great way of putting it yeah so i absolutely love it in that sense and i think the other part of the reason that i love it is just pure nostalgia because obviously i went to disney world growing up and i think for most kids the kind of park that sticks in your head is probably probably magic kingdom yeah. so a lot of my memories of um great times with my grandparents my family my extended family that's all at the magic kingdom yeah i can understand that one because they, as you're explaining it all that's coming through in my head is like people grow up like me you know growing up to disney and you see the opening scene it's yeah. where this you know goes over the castle and it's like that's just such an iconic image and then to see it in real life in person obviously for me it was only four years ago so yes, I can understand why it's so. Mm. It's special. I think that will follow back on to why it's why you love it so much. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. The next question has come from the lovely Andy Dawn and Alba. Ooh, what is it? Uh, once again, if you guys don't follow them, definitely do yeah. it. They've also got a YouTube channel. They're so lovely. They're always just supportive of everyone in the Disney community. Always chatting away. Um, so a really, really lovely family. Yeah. Um, so their question is, would we ever consider DVC? Yes. Yeah. I think anything Disney I'd consider yes, it's just... I would love to do DVC. Um, it's just in terms of, yeah, because to join, <laughs> we don't know all that much about it to be fair, but we know no. to join you have to have a considerable amount of money. Yeah. Um, so it's probably like a one day type of thing but not a two day right now mm, yeah. thing but definitely if you're going to be going to Disney every year for forever it's so worthwhile so yeah I mean, long term I'd like to buy a house in Golden Oaks but you know realistic goals and yeah, all that yeah, DVC <laughs> before that so yeah we'll get there one day but yeah definitely considering it 
The next question we had is from Kirsty Salmon on Instagram. So definitely go check her out. Um, so her question was, your what are our favourite rides in each park? Ooh. Don't you go first so, this time. Come on. Well, well, should we go park by park? And yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's start with Magic Kingdom. Mine is Splash Mountain. Haunted Mansion. Uh, at Epcot, it's Soarin'. Mm. Um, probably Spaceship Earth. No, Living with the Land. What am I talking about? You always forget it, but you I say know. it's your favourite. It is. It's nice. the farmer and me. You know, Living with the Land. Yeah, I do that every day. Yeah. <laughs> living with the Land. Choked on my Disney Resort mug. Um, Hollywood Studios, Tower of Terror. Uh, Rock and Roller Coaster. And Animal Kingdom, Everest. Flight of Passage. These are totally different to what you said in your top threes in our top three video. What I said before. I'm pretty sure you agreed with me on soaring at Epcot. You at for Animal Kingdom, you also said Everest, and at Hollywood Studios, I'm pretty sure you said Tara Terra. I'm like the weather. Sorry for the inconsistencies, guys. <sighs> Fake news. No, it's 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 not. It it's you know. Ev it changes I, with my mood. I love. Yes, <laughs> but you know, it, I like it all. You know, it's hard. You know, when you got you know you got multiple children. What's your favorite? Who's your favorite yeah. child? Yeah, it's like Sophie's choice. God. You can't you can't do it. You know. Yeah. Okay. Simple as. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry for the inconsistencies, guys. No, I like it all. Okay. He's been lying to you this whole time. Yeah. Our next question is from Tish upon a star. Best Instagram name in the world, and also one of the loveliest people. Another person in the Disney community on Instagram who is just so supportive, so chatty, always there if you need a little pep talk. So definitely go check her out. And her question is How do we structure our days when we're in Florida? Let you take in charge. Um, so we don't like to sit still. No. And I think we've mentioned this before, when we plan rest days, they're not what some people would consider rest days. Um, we'll always either be like half the time at a um, water park, half the time uh, going to a shopping place or something like that, or then going to a different park in the yeah. evening. We don't like to just sit in the hotel we room. We always or... have guidelines. Yeah. And that is like on the... Just flicking back to it. Every time I th say that thing... It always reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like the pirate code. It's like it's more like guidelines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? that's, why I, that's why I stick to it because, like I say, our first our first ever trip, Ash was like, "We gotta do this. We gotta do that. We gotta do that." It's like, yes, but I'm a bit of a drill sergeant. Yeah. When it comes to All, Florida, just just guidelines. Yeah, but I think we yeah. plan out our whole whole holiday. Yeah. But we still use it. But as we guidelines. yeah we allow Things room for change. flexibility. Yeah. Um, I think as well in terms of structure, I think some people get to the parks, always get to the parks for rope drop, leave kind of afternoon, early evening. We change it up a little bit. So um, this year, for example, we're going to start our day one. We're going to be getting there for rope drop the second day. We're going to be getting somewhere for around lunchtime. The next following two days, we're getting somewhere for opening. Then once again, the afternoon. And it totally just depends on when we're fitting in fireworks. Also, I'm going to be totally real with you guys, we love food and I structure quite a few of our days around food and where we want to eat. Yeah. Um, because you know, food is life. Um, so yeah, that is kind of how we structure it. We, we're not strict on kind of how much time we like to spend in certain parks on certain times or when we like to arrive. We flex it up depending on the things we want to do. Yeah. Um, so I guess really in terms of how we structure, we make a list of all the things we want to do, whether it's what restaurants we want to hit, what shows we want to see, and then day by day we just try and work out how those things can fit into certain days yeah. without killing ourselves. Because yeah. um, you'll remember, you're still on holiday. Yeah, so although we don't like to sit still, we don't like to be flying home back to the UK saying, God, we need a holiday from our holiday. Yeah. So. You can still put your feet up being in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that answered the question. So the next question is from Walk Diz Way, another fabulous Disney name. We are so uninventive with just 
our names. Um, we tried, we failed. Yeah, but these guys are also fantastic. They're actually going to be out there at the same time as us. We're really hoping we're going to get a chance to say hi to them and grab a drink. Um, once again, so lovely to chat to. So if you don't already, go give them a follow. And they've asked us what we do the night before we travel and what we're planning to do on this trip. So generally, we always stay overnight at the hotel. Um, oh, airport. Well, still hotel. Yeah, at a hotel at the airport. Yeah. Um, just in terms of, I mean, this year, our flight isn't until 25 minutes past one, but we're still staying overnight. Yeah. Because we live in Essex, obviously. We're not too far from Gatwick, but we've got to get down the M25. Yeah, and what was it, like, not last year, the year before? No, it's no, 2016, it was first 2016, year. 2016, yeah. Me, yeah, work, finishing a bit late. Got caught in traffic. traffic. The you, QE2 bridge got closed. You wanted to kill me. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we just don't like to leave any room for issues because the worst thing I can possibly imagine is paying all this money for a fantastic holiday, not getting a hotel overnight, and then in the morning when you leave to get to the airport, there's been a huge accident on the road or something's closed or something's Sorry. not right, and you miss your flight. That ain't happening. No, so we just like to be there. Yeah. Um, and well, we like to be there, I just do as I'm told. This year specifically, we're staying at the Hilton at South Terminal at Gatwick. Uh, it's our first time staying there. Last year we stayed at Block. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. Um, just for money reasons, because like I said, we booked this so last minute. This year the Hilton just happened to be the cheaper deal. Uh... And I think the year before that we stayed in a little um, inn called the Fox. Oh my, no, it's called Little Foxes, and it's just a little bit up from Gatwick. Oh, it's a nice little place. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a really nice little place. So we only stayed there because growing up, my family used to stay there a lot before flights. So that was pretty good. But yeah, that that's kind of what we tend to do the night before um, a flight. Probably do what all vloggers do and head to giraffe for dinner the night before because it's the only night because it's the standard thing yeah. you do um actually no my mum's taking us this year so we're going to go for dinner at a gastro pub they know near gatwick aren't yeah. we so yeah you'll meet you'll meet my parents in the pre-travel day vlog good old jackie and kev <laughs> the next question that we have is from the lovely drew and nicole they are also super lovely to us, always really chatty, and they have got a YouTube channel with their vlogs up, actually up from their last trip. So you should definitely go watch them because they're really, really fun. Um, and they've asked us what are our favourite Disney snacks. Do not say chocolate coins. Well, beans that I've been on it so much recently of uh, just like my yogurts and. I've been on a massive carrot cake, like, mm. yeah, made myself like sick because of it, which, because I couldn't get, I, I tried these new Muller yogurts, and um, I don't know why I'm going into this depth, but yeah. The, We're going to go with it. The carrot cake cookie that I tried, had for the first time in Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Yeah, no, that is good. I'm looking forward to that. I'm very looking forward to that. You haven't had that the last couple of years as well. So no. So you've had a couple of years of not having um, it. I say, well, and the question was, what's my favourite thing? But, yeah, that's like one of my favourites, even though I don't have it all the time. But it's a go-to. I think it's probably the Mickey cookie. Mm. If if we stick into the question. Yeah. The Mickey cookie's my favourite as well. And we didn't have it last year, which I kick myself about all the time because we had the dining plan. Snack. Does a Boddington's count as a snack? No. No, okay. Um, but yeah, the, the giant Mickey head cookie with the chocolate dipped ears. My favourite thing in the whole world. Um, what else do I really like snack-wise, just in terms of providing some variety? Um, the Cheshire Cat Tail? Um, I do enjoy the Cheshire Cat Tail, but I do think it is... It just tastes like a normal chocolate twist you could pick up at Costa, just with no, themed icing. I don't know, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Oh, do you know what my favourite snack probably is? My strawberry lemonade slushy. That's not a snack. You just said a Boddington's don't count as a snack. Because it literally doesn't count as a snack credit. That drink does. Yeah, but I wouldn't class as a snack. <laughs> oh, food. my God, we're getting so passionate about food. Some, something you have um, to chew. 
I would say I'm gonna go with Ample Hills Creamery ice cream. I really like that. Mm. Oh no, the Nutella beignet from the France Bakery. Yeah, that was oh yeah. I totally. I always forget about the boulangerie in in the France Pavilion. That is just a. Human we gem. only discovered that on our honeymoon yeah. in October. And we ordered about, we both ordered like a, a croissant with like cheese and that. You ordered a creme brulee, we split the beignet between us and didn't you, we get something else? Like we ordered so much and we... I got a donut as well. Yeah, we, we were disgusted. Like, do you know when you walk out of somewhere just feeling like yeah. 10 stone heavier, you're rolling out the door. It was good That though. was us. It's because we were like, oh my God, yes, yes, we're getting that, 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 that. Mm. Yeah. And we were coming towards the end of our trip actually I think so we were like if we don't get this now We're not gonna get it until we next come back and obviously we yeah. didn't think we were coming back in 2019 in October, so yeah, yeah. That's good. Mandy Dawn and Alba asked us a second question and we opened the floor for general questions as well as Disney questions oh. So they have asked us in a fire You can tell this is gonna be good oh, in a true. fire Besides family, friends, and pets, what one item would you save? They did put in brackets. Sorry to be morbid. <laughs> uh, right, so, so family and all that are safe. Everyone's, I'm safe. Right, okay, Amos. <laughs> Amos, my, my guitar. I knew that would be your yeah. answer. That's what he would save. Yeah. To be honest, I think if there was a fire, he'd probably run for the guitar before checking on me. You've got legs. <laughs> well, this has. <laughs> <laughs> I can move. Amos can't. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's the thing he'd save. I honestly don't know. Um, I mean, I'd like to save all of my books, but I've got four shelves worth of them. I'm sorry, that's the kindling, so that's just run, run away from there. Yeah. Um, I mean... There's not like a whole ton. I'm that like. No, it's, you're you're a you're a spread. I have like of lots of little things. I don't have like a big thing. Um, so I'm probably gonna go for like a more sentimental thing. I would probably go for in our little cupboard in our room. We've got a little memory box, and it hasn't got like anything overly important in it. It's got like a couple of photos. I think we might have a couple of printouts of some wedding photos. Um, I think we generally try and keep our memory photo, uh, our wedding photo memory stick in there as well. Um, but it's got cards from our wedding, it's got cards that we sent in the early days of our relationship on Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, back when we were super cringy. I think it's got confetti from a concert we went to <laughs> when we yeah. first got together. So it's got lots of like, it's really silly, cringy stuff, but it's like. I feel kind of Cute bad stuff. that now I'm just like, oh, you, you're going for the memory. But it's because and... I don't have anything big that I really yeah. fuss about. Yeah, you, you're not, you're not a, that one thing, but... Other than that, maybe my laptop, because that's how I book Disney holidays. <laughs> Fair game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the lovely Disney Tom asked us a second question, and he asked us, what are our favourite Disney songs? Go on. So I think from a Disney movie, I'm going to say, like, I love so, so many, but I think my all-time favourite is I Will Make a Man Out, I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. I knew you were going to say that. Donny Osmond's voice is like yeah. velvet. I love him. Um, but if we're talking about, like, Disney Parks music, I do love Happily Ever After, but I think Fantasmic edges it up for me because I just love that whole... Do, 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 yeah. do. So you carry on for that. I'm gonna say mine is happily ever after. Mm. So we sing on. that quite a lot. You should hear us in the car when we yeah. get going with that. <laughs> I'd hate to say. I'd love for someone to be driving alongside us and film, like without yeah. us knowing, obviously, because it'd be weird. <laughs> um, of like seeing what other people could see of us in the yeah. car. I mean, David does a really good Jordan Fisher impression when we sing Happily Ever After. You can detect the sarcasm, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> that kind of end line where he goes, Happily Ever After. I'm not going to. David does it really I'm good. I'm not going to show you how I do it. <laughs> Maybe we can convince him on the vlogs after he's had a couple of Boddingtons. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you can tell by this voice what it's going to be like. <laughs> this ain't angelic. <laughs> like I said, we wanted to chat a little bit about 
the all-time favourite question that people love to ask us in our daily lives. Why do you keep going back and why do you love it so much? Yeah, now I get this daily, mm -hmm. absolutely daily at work. Because, like, they always take the mickey of how, why, you know, I'm just like... Like my boss, he's he's been to Disney and he can't wait to go with his grandkids. Um, and some of them haven't been. I'm like, you can't you can't knock it until you've tried it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I I love it. It is just yeah. anyone that's watching this, you could. This is why we're here. People is to be with people who understand. Yeah. Our crazy love. Yeah, I Disney. think that's the thing. We've got no one really in our personal lives who kind of get on no, the level. And I th yeah, and I think that's what brought us more to here. Because we're all as mad as each other. We all love it. There is yeah. there is no age limit to it. There is not nothing. Ev everyone, you know, there's someone from every walk of life and everything like that. E everyone. There is just mm. millions and millions of people. Um, they love it. And yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. You know. Bear in mind, this has only been. I grew up to Disney, but until you introduced. Disney World and everything like that to me. I didn't, you know, you were petrified that I wouldn't love it. Yeah. We were engaged yeah. in 2016 when I took him for the first time and I fully said, if you don't like this holiday, <laughs> I don't know if I can marry you. This is true, this is true. Brutal as it is, this is true. Because cause I was raised going to Disney with my family. I've always kind of dreamed of when I have kids. Yeah. Do, doing that as well and kind of yeah. raising them on Disney trips. I can, I, I can accept the br I accepted the brutal part of it as well. You know, that it, it, it could have been it could have been a deal breaker. It would have been tough for me because I love him. <laughs> I but, love you, but no Disney. <laughs> but like when you've dr dr like grown up dreaming of taking yeah. your own kids there one day. Lucky, lucky for lucky for you, you create the monster just the same. Yeah. You know, because I, you know, some days I could probably drive you crazy with it. Yeah, you do love it. Yeah. Which is yeah. nice. I think for me, my main reasons for loving it and always wanting to go back, I mean, I touched a little bit on it earlier when I was talking about Magic Kingdom, but I think when you're at Disney World, and I'm sure all of you have been who totally get it, um, you forget about everything outside of Disney World. Yeah. So when I'm in Disney, and to be totally on topic, I'm not encouraging political conversations in the in the comments, but just as an example, when I'm in Disney, I'm not thinking about Brexit. I'm not thinking about work problems. She went there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not thinking about work problems. I'm not thinking about any stresses or concerns. I'm just in Disney. Like, that's all that yeah. exists. So I'm going to completely add to that one and with my work, obviously, highest, you yeah, know, not saying... I'll get my words out in a minute. Obviously, I've got a high stress job. Other jobs have a high stress as well. But yeah, obviously, farming is a very busy thing and everything like that. And it is an all year round thing. And just for them two weeks of the year to just go and switch off. I don't, I you know, if, if I could leave, I, I wish I could leave my phone at home, but obviously, you would take pictures and everything like that and whatever. So, but. I, I, I love it. it. It is. I was never before I met Ash and before I done, you know, because I met Ash and literally the Disney madness started. It is. I, I need it. I need it every year to have my switch off. Yeah. S simple as. You, I, yeah. I, 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 could, I couldn't. I thought this is why this trip was so short booked. I was like, no, being realistic, blah, 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 you know, let's have a break. And then who was I kidding myself? We need it. You have to go back. You yeah. you need to switch off, and you need. Literally, it is like the fountain of youth when you go there. You just yeah. fit. You just. Yeah. I think as well. Another reason for me that we've touched on before is that there's so much to do in Florida and Orlando. There's always new things opening. There's things changing. That you do something new every time. You never have the same trip. Even if you're going to the same place, you do different experiences, try new yeah. things, and I mean. Like I said, I've been going since I was one years old, so 21 years I've been going, and almost 22 years, and I haven't done the Carousel of Progress, which I know is a massive shocker. There's there's tons of things that 
like I haven't done. I can't ever remember riding Astro Orbiter. I might have, but I don't know if I have. There's there's so much we haven't done. I've never seen Nemo the musical. Like there's tons I haven't done, and that's just inside Disney alone. Like when you count in, I've never done Gatorland. I've never done. We've never done Legoland in Orlando. No, and that's and that, and that is the thing. By the time we start touching on something else, like say Legoland, or I haven't done Bush Gardens or something like that. Mm there's always something new yeah i mean when you think about it we were in florida in october so what seven months ago from when we're going yeah. on our next trip already there's been new there's new shows starting there's new rides that have opened i don't think any major massive openings have happened but i think there's been a couple the, of things new land obviously you've got the sesame street yeah so in the sea world uh we've got um new snacks that have come and because we, we're big foodies yeah. we love that there, there, there's, there's, there's always no, something no. different I'm, you could be like the like the what well, our, our main people that we watch the trackers and they're making obviously they the, yeah they are mainly in orlando and obviously disney they it's a day-to-day -day thing there is so it shows yeah. of how much there is and how forever changing changes. Need I say more? Yeah. So yeah, and I think as well, people often ask the question, don't you want to see the rest of the world? And I say, I do. I go to Epcot. <laughs> yeah. and that's the one thing we can always say us Disney people. Yep, yeah, that, that is the main thing I say to my guys at work. Yeah. It's like, do you not want to see the rest of the world? And, but on a serious note, they say, you know, oh, to do this, do that. And it's like, like and you always say, you, you, you're a bit more well-traveled than I have because I never got on a plane until I met you. <laughs> and it's down to me whether we change to actually go see yeah. some other places in the world. And we will. We will go yeah. to Shanghai Disney in California. You know, we will see <laughs> more we're of the probably world. still going to be going <laughs> Disney. But uh, this is what I say to David, because I, I was very lucky growing up in the sense that my parents loved travelling on holidays as well. They were always the type of parents who said, you know, we'd rather make memories than pay off the mortgage and stuff like that. Um... So we always had holidays and we went to Florida regularly. I, I've been New York by the time I was 10. I've been to China. I've been to Barcelona, Fuerteventura, Tenerife, all these different places. Mexico, like I've traveled to some amazing places before I was even a teenager. And I'm so super grateful for those experiences, but it's really kind of let me know that Florida is my favorite place. And I, because of, I've traveled so much, I'm really aware of the fact that I could happily go there for the rest of my life and not really care. So I have to say to David, like, I've seen what I want to see. If you want to start seeing some different things, you tell me because I'm just going to want to go back there every year. So you yeah. need to tell me. And then I've got the mouse bug. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> we will see more of the world. Yeah. But for now... We're sticking on this train. We're, we're, we're sticking to Florida. Yeah. And to be honest, like, we know when we have kids, which, you know, isn't too far off. It's still a way, way off, but not too far. Um, We know when we have kids, you know, it's it gets trickier to go. Um, We still will try and go every year, but being realistic, that might not always be possible. Yeah. Um, So we think, you know, before before we get little... Little kitty winks. Let's try and squeeze in as many trips as possible and and spoil ourselves. Yeah. So yeah. Comment below your reasons why you keep going back and why you love it, or if there's somewhere else in the world that you really want to get to, but Disney always just takes the cake. But hopefully that has been interesting to you guys. Um, thank you for everyone who sent in your questions. We really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I hope you got to know a little bit more about us. We're literally... I think every video is a little bit more of an eye-opener to us. Yeah. Um, I think we're now in the kind of 24-day-ish region, so we get up to three weeks until the trip. <laughs> so I think the next few videos are going to be stuff like our finalised plans. Pack oh, packing. We are sort of half-packed. Well, they oh. want to see they're, what we're packing. They're in piles. Yeah. So we'll show packing stuff. Um, might talk about what we're going to have in our park bags, some travel essentials. Um, if you want to hear more about how we deal with the long haul flights, especially from the point of view of I'm a nervous flyer, he's not. So if you want to hear about how we deal with that, 
Um, With great difficulty. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so there'll, there'll be loads coming up over the next couple of weeks. We haven't quite worked out what we're going to do when we're away, whether it's going to stop for two weeks and then we bring stuff out when we're there or if we're going to pre-film some bits. Um, but we'll keep you updated on what we yeah. decide yeah, we're to not, do. We're not going to jump in and say we're going to do this because we're not going to make an empty promise. No, exactly. Um, and we don't know how But many... you will be, you know... We, You'll be we, definitely updated sure, on Instagram. On, on Instagram, there'll be absolutely loads going up on there. Yeah. That'll be on fire. Yeah. yeah. But YouTube-wise, we don't quite know what we're going to do yet. Just in yeah. terms of, we don't know what the Wi-Fi is going to be like in our hotel. We know it's good on phones because we've stayed there before. But we don't know if it'll be reliable enough to handle like a YouTube upload or yeah. stuff like that. So, so, we shall see. Yeah. But, yeah, anyway... <laughs> I keep, we always do yeah, this, yeah. like, we Shut always up. just start chatting. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up button, it helps us out. And if you want to see more of us and listen to us drivel on for hours at a time, uh, feel free to press the subscribe button. We are going on holiday on the 11th of May to Disney World and we will be vlogging the whole trip. So if you want to see those, that subscribe button and the little jingle bell is the best way to uh, keep up to date with us. But yeah, thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.